Oh my gosh, that is so funny. <laughs> this is something I totally could not play on stream. Oh, it's literally Five Nights at Freddy's, but it's a bunch of furry porn. That's so funny. Oh my god. What is this trailer? Oh, that's so funny, guys. I, I just... Definitely popping on my wish list. I'm not even ashamed. I'm like, bro, that looks so funny to play. <laughs> oh gosh, that was so funny to see. Oh wow, that was that was hilarious. Okay, I know I have to turn this down. I have to turn this down like a ton. Oh Jesus. Oh, that was so funny. Okay. There is an update. Okay. Begin. Whoa, 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 whoa. Link account failed. Oh, that's right. Okay, guys, hold on, hold on. That's right, I forgot. Link action timing is so weird. I'm being absolutely serious. It is so freaking weird. So, usually, like Genshin Impact and other games that you can play on PC and mobile, you don't have to re-log in on a different device. So weird. I don't think I put in the right password. Fudge. Was it that? There we go, it was that. Alright. Okay, now I'm logging in. Thank goodness. Okay. Dear Lord, you're so loud. Okay. Alright, I know I already did the dailies. Let's see, what do I got? Receive. Okay. Not the main quest, my bad. Event, okay. Repeat, we want a vacation too. So this is the event that's going on. So, why not? We're gonna go for it. And of course, I'm playing as Lapis. Oh. Let me know if the volume is too loud or something. In a forest covered in rich green, listening to the sound of flowing waters and feeling the refreshing breeze, I appreciate the existence of nature. Just being in this place where there isn't anything man-made comforts me. Phew, tent is done. Ah, I'm done with mine too. <laughs> I think I was a little bit faster seems so, but mine is more neat. But I was faster. It's my win. I think I can relax better than you can during the break time. Why are all boys so competitive on weird things like that? It's been a while since we last had vacation. I guess he wants to enjoy the moments that aren't missions. Yukikaze and Rinka was gathering dry wood for campfire beside of Shinakano's suke and me. I screwed that up. She kind of suke me. She, she, what the fudge did I say? Other female members were taking camping tools out of their bags and categorizing them according to their usage. Well, what others decide was done nicely. Now it feels like we are on camping. I mean, it's obvious that my tent will win. I think I can take a break now. There, there. Don't pick a fight for nothing. Seriously, why does he have to be such a bully when he's normally so calm? You tell me. You've known him longer than I have, Yukikaze. Fuma is calm at home, though. Maybe it's because there aren't any adults, such as my sister, around. Maybe he's been hiding this side of him because he has to behave as the captain. Fuma-kun is still a teenage boy. Don't be silly, it's not like you're behaving because she's not around. As I reacted to Sakura's crude joke, which I wouldn't have normally, she smiled brighter than usual. The smile was so of her age, I might say. Everyone was exhausted because lately it's been mission after mission without proper rest. After seeing everyone's expressionless faces, with not even a hint of exhaustion or aggression, I genuinely believed it was a nice decision to take some days off. Although, it was Miss Asagi who thought of a vacation for all the members of the task force. She said, and I quote, If Taimonins are to protect people's lives, they should take care of their own first. Yeah, that was a good one. I should keep that in mind. I went near the girls who were about to start preparing lunch. By the way, what's for lunch? If you are camping, you gotta eat curry. Yeah, curry is delicious. 
Though, Sakura and Noah said that they didn't have anything in their hands, so did the other girls. Curry, I see. But where are the ingredients? I looked around only to find a mess tin, unwashed rice, and bottled water. They didn't even prepare utensils, let alone the ingredients. Wake up, Fumakun. As a time and then, it's basics to source ingredients locally, right? What's the condescending attitude? And I think just making normal curry with some vegetables and pork is enough. Ah, do you prefer pork and curry, Fumakun? I prefer chicken. Vegetables only is tasty enough? I like seafood in my curry. More nutritious. I can tell. <laughs> I do too. And you have deer in your name? What does my name have to do with this? Chikanosuke's shout echoed in the area. There is only us and our surroundings as are silent. Camping with colleagues I trust made me find this kind of chit-chat fun. I don't care about every each one of your tastes. We have to find ingredients for lunch. Let's make groups and go find food. Yukikaze. Are you that hungry? I am not hungry. Have some manners, will you? I am, so I want to go. Now, here, here. But making groups? When did you do that? And what about Fuma and me? I did it the other day as I wanted. What do you want to do, Fuma? I'm not in any group, so do you want me to join you? You were the first one to make the groups and you've left yourself out? Well, that's... Sakura smiled as she came up with an evil prank and controlled her shadow. Ninja art, shadow art, which is Sakura's specialty. The shadow became a bear and stood beside her. Another shadow remained as her shadow, but we all know it would become a shadow shark that would jump out of nowhere. I didn't know we can use ninja art. Our motto is gathering ingredients as time ends. What kind of motto is that? Well, it sounds fun enough, so whoever gathers the most will win? Yes. Also, how about each group make their own curry? Sounds fun, doesn't it? Then we don't have to gather too much since it'll be a lot as a whole, even if a team takes a little. Alright, we already have rice, water, and roux, so find the rest. Got it. Shikanosuke, let's put our competition on hold. Noted. We forgot about the tent, held hands, and laughed. Shikanosuke's elect art might not be as powerful as Yukikaze's lightning art, but it's useful when searching for things. You can count on me on finding prey. We talk to each other about our eyes. Rinko or Yukikaze are not suited for searching missions since they are too powerful. What bothered me was Sakura who can increase the number of searchers, Su who seemed to be great at surviving skills, and Noah who is unpredictable. Then let's begin, shall we? I'm also hungry after all the talking. Sakura disappeared as soon as she said that. Actually, she went into the woods so fast that I thought she disappeared. That cheeky female dog in heat. Rinko, let's go. Alright. Okay, let's go Noah. Okay, see ya, Fuma. After Sakura, Yukikaze, Rinko, and Team Su and Noah had gone. That was fast. Tell me about it, shall we? We headed toward the forest at our own pace. Anyway, why did you bring me in? I rarely participate in the task force's missions. I mean, I am the only male member if you aren't here. I don't like that. Then call now! I don't like this either. I am barely a member of the task force. Now here means Homari now, a male Taimonin. But I don't think he likes me, and what should I say, he nags a lot. I know he nags out of kindness, but I don't like it in these situations. It doesn't seem like he hates you, it's like, you know, he keeps nagging at your because he expects so much. I know that, but still. Well, it's alright. I need to enjoy this to the fullest. It's my first time camping regardless of missions, but why camping? To be honest, Misasagi... Shikanosuke's words reminded me of why I decided to go camping on vacation. Phew! Organizing documents after missions is the most exhausting thing. As I was walking the hallway massaging my shoulders, it came out of my mouth subconsciously. Speaking of which, I've been having missions for a whole week. Honestly, missions the task force has been assigned are hefty. In other words, the dark force, represented by nomad and criminals, have been more active than before. Give me a break, please. Excuse me, ma'am. I have the report of the missions from yesterday. Alright, come on in. As I knocked on the doors of the headmistress's office, Mrs. Sagi answered right away. I entered the office as instructed. Excuse me. Ah, Miss Shirinui is also here. I am. It's been a while, Fumakun. You look good. You must have learned something good this time as well. Thank you. Headmistress Asagi, where do you want me to put this report? 
On the table, please. I put down the report on the table and was about to leave the office. By the way, Fumakun, I have something to tell you. Of course. What is it, ma'am? Is it another mission? I imagined it would be another mission, but Mrs. Sagi was smiling at me, which is a rare thing. As of yesterday, the task force had worked nine days consecutively, right? I'll give you a vacation from today until the end of the week. Pardon me? It was very unexpected, and I was startled by the word vacation. I must really be exhausted. It was a brief moment, but I was dumbfounded by my own reaction. And it seemed that Mrs. Sagi and Miss Shiranui felt the same way. They were grinning at my reaction. We'll take care of the rest of the missions. I'm sorry for constantly assigning missions to you lately. No, there's nothing for you to be sorry about. That's why I'm here. Let the adults do our job and get some rest, Fumakun. Ah, that's what this is about. Thank you, Miss Shiranui. Hoo <laughs> we are protecting lots of people's lives, but so do the everyday lives of Taimonins. I almost forgot about that part since we've been too busy. I'm sorry, Fumakun. Not at all. Besides, Miss Osagi and Miss Shiranui haven't had time to rest either. We are okay. We know how to relax during busy days. I... I see. I smiled bitterly as I felt dignity as an adult from her remarks. I have so much to keep up to become like Miss Osagi or Miss Shiranui. The living legend, the almighty Taimonin, and the greatest of all time, the mother of Yukikaze, the phantom Taimonin, they must be taking good care of themselves more than I do. So, on this weekend, for the task force's morale, I want you to... Go camping, she said. For the morale of the task force. Well, I think members of the task force would surely like it. Su, Yukikaze, Rinko, and Sakura. They all like to go outside. Surprisingly enough, Noah seems to like forest bathing. Miss Asagi keeps her eyes on us all the time. I'm grateful for that. On the other hand, I barely manage my missions. The weekend, which made me realize I still have a lot to learn, has just begun. Hmm. The downside of mountains is that there are a lot of bugs. Anyway, I suppose they have watched videos about camping. Surprisingly enough, the tents and camping tools were no joke. At that moment... Sound as if the air explodes was heard from not so far away, and my skin got numb. What? What was that? Yes! Look, Rinko! I caught so many fish! It was Yukikaze who was shouting excitedly, reaching out her right hand to the river. It seems like she discharged her lightning art at the river to electrocute the fish in it. Well, I wonder, how is this fancy approach as a Taimonin? What? Taimonins are ninjas. A ninja should act in silence like a shadow. Don't you think being fancy and loud like you just did was far from being a Taimonin? Electrocuting fish to catch them is also against the law. Good to know. Then, what you're doing is even more inappropriate as a Taimonin. That's absurd. Wouldn't it be okay? There's no one around. And I adjusted my power. Hey, Rit. Oh my gosh. Uh, this game, the event for time, Action Timer, that's what's good. How are you doing, Rit? Hope you're having a good day. I would let you do it if you can say that excuses in front of Miss Nui. Sorry. After apologizing, Yukikaze dropped her shoulders and went into the woods. Yui Kaze? What the fudge? You were binge watching anime? Oh, what anime were you watching? Hoo hoo. Sue seemed to be gathering wild plants. Using her survival skills, she learned from the Chinese Union. Maybe I should catch a boar. Rinko then went into the woods. It's all about showing off for the task force. Ah, the fish are awake. She did adjust her power. We laughed together at what Yuki Kaze said and went towards the woods. Ruby? Oh, nice, like the anime Ruby or the, you know, the 3D anime Ruby. Did you get the information? Igawa Asagi's nervous voice echoed the underground facility of Gosha Academy. All the crews running here to be here there looked intense. It seems that all of them have a big problem. Yes, ma'am, here. The staff handed out about 10 pages of documents. Asagi sighed after checking them all. Ruby the 3D, not Ice Queendom? Ah, gotcha, gotcha. I need to catch up. I've only seen up to volume 5. All of them recently fought against the task force. As Shirunui said, the organizations in the list were familiar, and the task force fought against them in dark streets or the underground. Where was the information leaked? A raid to attack Fuma Kotaro, the captain of the task force, while he's on vacation? That doesn't look coincident. Moreover, they all took action simultaneously. As Asagi looked at Shirunui, who was beside her, she was smiling bitterly, reading another information in the documents. 
You're on volume 7, it's so good. I hear it's really good. Does that look normal? According to this, it looked as if these all happened coincidentally. Because information that reads, a member found Fuma and others lightly armed while driving a car. Or took the same subway as the Fuma's group, or found them in a restaurant. We're here and there as if they were all just a coincidence. My, my, Fumakun, Were you born under the star of misfortune or something? What seems to be the problem? No, nothing. I don't know if I should call this lucky or not, but maybe this is a great chance to take down the remaining opposing forces. Yes, ma'am. It's unfortunate for Mr. Fuma, but we should call him to cancel his vacation and deal with the... About that, I want you to wait. Pardon me, but they would fall into danger if we don't. Or maybe you want him to notice the imminent danger as they have experienced many things as the task force? Quite the opposite. I want them to enjoy their vacation as they are. We Taimonins keep people safe, but our lives must also be as well. I want them to enjoy their lives at least during vacation. She's right. Besides, it's been several weeks since they had proper rest and weeks. If they don't unwind, they'll end up mentally exhausted. Well, that's... true, but... Then, what about the attackers? Well, it's up to the task force. A problem of a group must be handled by the group. After saying that, Asagi took out a comms device and pressed some buttons. The call went through and exchanged a few words and ended the call. She repeated this twice. Fumakun would surely face a situation where he can't give orders. This one can be a great chance to train. Agreed. The staff members sighed deeply in their minds as the two individuals who were considering using the situation as an opportunity to train. Insane. Too bad, Shirunui bore Yukikaze. Sorry, Rit. A few ten kilometers away from a stream where Fuma and others were enjoying their vacation, the sound of rushing wind echoed. Within a second, it shook the trees, made ripples on the surface of the river, but it barely made a sound. The sound was so small that even a trained human couldn't listen, even if they don't concentrate. Target spotted. The wind spoke. No, a human floating in the air, wrapped in wind spoke. Her name is Gwendolyn Demdike. A legendary existence who was once called an angel, or vapor trail. It was true, but it was a bit exaggerated. She's not an angel, but merely a human with the ability to excel at mechanical design and construction known as Garuda Vapor Tail. The ability is quite extraordinary. She can make flying devices, and she can fly freely using a suit equipped with a flight unit she made. However, for the cost of her ability, she has a psychological restraint preventing her from landing on the ground, so she has to stay in the sky. That was the truth behind the angel. Ugh. It's so scary to fly the sky with nothing but my body, even if it's an emergency. Recognize the partner becoming conscious. I wasn't unconscious. Yes, you were. Aya lost her consciousness, too. And me. Three women were in units that are tied to the angel, as the three came to their senses. Gwendolyn said to the receiver in her ear, I I'm sorry. Did I accelerate too fast? I'm not good at adjusting my speed. However, the angel gently put down the units on the ground and apologized politely. The three got off the units, dragging their body, which felt heavy ju as, just as they just regained conscious. All of them looked in pain rather than exhausted. Our apologies. I'm sorry we passed out. It's just, please be careful, since normally humans lose their consciousness if you ascend a thousand kilometers at once. The speed itself was fast, but what made them frown for headache was the extreme difference in altitude with their bodies couldn't keep up. The sudden difference made them in pain even though they are physically trained as Taimonins. Gwendolyn, who had lived in the sky for a long time, was reminded how weak a body can be, and bowed low again. My apologies, I used to fly alone. While Gwendolyn was taking a bow floating in the air, the three put mobile units in their ears. Hello, we arrived at the place. Got it, we know your location from the GPS device in your units. I'm glad that you arrived safely. A lazy voice was sent through the video. Not a single nervousness was felt from it. Alright, once again, I am Setagawa Mizuha. I am in charge of this escort mission from headquarters. Let's do this, guys. I'm Kiryu Kaoruko. Although this team was formed on short notice, we got this. Mori Shizuka, thank you for having me here. I'm Mizuno Aya, nice to meet you. I'm Gwendolyn Demdike. I'm in charge of air support today. As soon as the five of them shared brief greetings, some information was displayed via the units in their ears. I'll walk you guys through the missions. Today, we have to immobilize the enemy forces without getting caught by the task force who are enjoying their vacation. I believe we can do this mission now that we have Miss Kiryu Kaoruko, who has great survival skills although she always places traps in the Goshen Forest as a prank. 
Miss Mori Shizuka, who can control insects to gather information and immobilize enemies through her bug art. And last but not least, air support for Miss Gwendolyn Demdike, who is familiar with the sky to be living up there. I believe this mission is not impossible. I'll support you guys from here to the fullest. There is no failing on this mission. At Muzan's speech, the four look at each other's faces and nod, trusting the confidence in them. Now that introductions are done with, I want you to go to the location right away. You are getting near to the task force, so no chit chat. Does that mean we have to go on foot? I suppose there aren't any vehicles of any kind. We don't have much time. Can Miss Gwendolyn fly us there? I guess that's our only choice. She was anticipating that. Karuko smiled and went into the container box she rode when coming here. Be sure not to sour up too fast this time, Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn is a bit long. Um, can I call you Gwen? Oh, sh sure. Whoa, it's like I'm friends with them. You girls seem familiar with each other. Aya muttered while climbing onto the container. Soon after, Gwendolyn started to carry it as if it was nothing heavy. Bro, the background clicked. Like, it snapped into a new background. She rose up to the skies, making sure she doesn't go up too fast, a thousand meters high this time. However, enemy spotted. We can also confirm from here. It's a bit far from the captain. We can deal with it right now. Roger that. Bombs away. Aren't we falling? Is it my imagination? <laughs> cool! It's like a roller coaster! Gwen, stop! Stop! Oh, I just dropped it, so I can't stop it now. Ugh. I hate flying now. Ah, uh, that was something. I thought we were going to die, Gwen. S sorry, I was going to sneak attack the enemy. I feel dizzy from all the motion sickness. It's alright, we'll still continue on with the mission as time it ends. Your face tells a different story. Standing with both feet on the ground was a wonderful thing. We failed to surprise the enemy. Are we still good? Fail? The terrorists ran away. Don't worry, the bugs are telling their location. So after that, I can take them out with my Aqua Regia. Go. Oh, dang. Oh, that's right. Lapis is like my most powered up time in him. Oh, we got a terrorist assault? Alright. Yay! fun for me. Cheer up, you're up next. Aya destroyed the last of the weapons taken from the terrorists with her Aqua Regia after saying that. Aqua Regia is a type of water art, making a type of liquid that melts everything it touches. It's formidable, but it melts literally everything it touches, including allies. That's why Kaurukuo and Shizuka first gather the enemy to a single point and take their weapons away with bugs from bug art and rapidly growing trees from wood art. After that, melting the weapons with Aqua Regia finally neutralizes the enemy for good. What skills? Hey. Oh, you! Come here and sit straight. Uh, what? We're in the middle of a mission. It's for future missions, so come here. Gwendolyn, surprised by Shizuka's fearsome attitude, sat straight midair, looking all weird and mysterious. Karuka was chuckling under her breath so that Shizuka wouldn't get madder, and so was Aya. Don't ever go straight up or straight down, and no throwing teammates on the ground. Okay, Gwen? Y yes I'll be careful. Good. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, so that was what this was all about? Yeah, well, flying with Gwyn is much faster than moving on foot. We have to use everything we have. I'm not mad at you, so don't be afraid. Okay, I'll be sure not to do that again. Now that we've become friends again, shall we continue on with the mission? Okay, then Kaluko, you stay ahead with Gwyn. I'll share the information from the bugs to the devices we have, so set up traps in the woods. Gotcha. Pleased to work with you, Gren. Oh, okay. Aya's team will stand by on an open field. Rizua, find one on the map. Yo, Dez. Nothing much. How are you doing, Dez? Hope you're having a good Sunday. Okay. I'll lead Miss Aya. Th thank you. I'll guide the enemy through traps and toward Aya, where she will be on standby. Uh, I wish I could say the same. 
According to my bugs, there are quite a lot of them. If we don't do this swiftly, then the captain's team will notice, so let's get this job done fast, people. Heh. <laughs> Shizuka, aren't you a bit more immersed than usual? Of course, our mission is to neutralize the enemy without letting the captain know about it. As a time in, I'll make sure we complete this mission perfectly. Oh, we got demon dogs. Terrorist High Ninja? Oh. Bro, finished in seconds. Finished in seconds, guys. Finished in seconds. Finished in seconds. Guys, finished in seconds. Hey, weren't we supposed to gather food? Yup. Then why are we still putting up tents again? Because Sakura tried it without looking at the manuals and the tent broke down. That girl really does everything through her instincts only. We were rebuilding the girl's tents that broke down just because of the wind. Sakura was the reason. She put up the tents without looking at the instruction manuals, eventually making them break down even by a small wind. Anyways, it was sort of a strong breeze and it only blew once. Yeah, and I saw something like a giant bird. Are you still talking about that? I didn't see anything like it. Well, it was bigger than a hawk. Maybe I'm wrong. You're telling me that a giant bird like in the myths was flying. I guess you can sell its photo to a TV station. I'm not interested in that. They were talking about giant birds and the mysterious wind as they were setting up the tents again. This vacation was for relaxation, so they were putting the gathering food mission aside for now. These might anger the girls, but it would be okay. On a vacation, these situations are also part of a precious memory. Well, if Yukikaze or Su was here, they would gather more food than necessary. Those two would probably compete against the amount of ingredients, not the taste of the curry. You got that right. After setting up the tents again, Su was already working on building a fire. Next to her was Noah, who seemed interested in how Su was making a fire out of nature. Whoa, Su, did you catch fish? Weren't they talking about wild greens or a boar? Or was that Rinko Senpai's words? I was jogging through my memories when Noah pointed to the river. Floating. Ah, I see. So some of the fish was still electrified when Yukikaze shot a lightning into that river. That's one way to fish. Lightning art is sure convenient. I wouldn't be so sure about that. The fire was lit during the conversation and after a few twigs was thrown in, it burst into flames. Whoa! Next, we stick the fish into the branches and put it near the fire to cook it. Oh, a. I'll wash the green. Oh. Oh. Your brother says that? Oh, yeah, well, then your brother's right. Anyway, it's because, uh, milk. Anyway, I'll wash the wild greens we picked up, so you handle the fish, Noah. Oh, a. This team would eat without problems, I think. Sue is always top of the class, and Noah is a good girl who does whatever she is told. And then... Huh! Away from the two who are helping each other was Rinko Senpai with a branch in her hand, ready to slash something. Ha! With a sharp voice that could be heard even from far away, the branch vanished. A slash that leaves space through void art, with that a big splash in the river could be heard. Phew. Why is she swipe wiping her sweat off like she's done something great? It seems great to her. Shikanosuke and I both looked up into the air, but there was nothing there. We were certain something fell from the sky. Gotcha! A voice could be heard downriver. Yukikaze must have picked the thing that fell from the air into the river. Ha! We were doomed when we couldn't find a boar, but luckily there was a bird. What do you mean, luckily? Shikanosuke and I both lost words as Yukikaze came out of the river with her hand holding a bird. See? It's big, right? If we gut it properly, we can use this as an ingredient for the curry for everyone to eat. The bird passed out from the impact of the void art, so it flapped suddenly in Yukikaze's hands. I sighed with relief at the sight and looked at both Taimonins. What's the matter? What? Is this a no-go? It's okay to shoot down a flying bird. But that's... That bird is an endangered species. Huh? 
endangered species illegal to catch and hunt. It's banned as an international law. So it seems. Why is an endangered species flying through the sky? Because they are being protected. Linko said by step forward and tapped Shikanosuke on her shoulders. No one has seen me, so maybe just this once? Nope. Release it back into the wilds. Seriously, I mean it. No way we were going to violate international laws. Not only the NG, but also the task force and Taimonins will suffer from it. I see. I was just joking. No, she was serious. Sure she was. And I and Chikanosuke thought like that, but didn't talk as we looked at Yukikaze. She released the bird into the wilds after checking it for injuries. Lucky it wasn't injured. You girls brought it down in the first place. Don't give me that refreshing look about how we protected the wildlife. I looked at them bitterly. Rinko-senpai and Yukikaze both looked the other way and went about whistling. We don't eat that bird. D Whoa, I didn't notice her. Noah, I told you, if you hide your presence and come close, Shikanosuke freaks out. So, make sure your footsteps can be heard today. Okay, sorry? I should meet your brother, Dez? Alright. No, no, it's fine. You seem very used to the situation, Fuma. Noah's presence is unique. I also live with her at home, so I got used to it. Not that impressive, but okay. He seemed a bit confused, but it was Noah that we were talking about. Birds. Taste? Tea? I know, I know, but I can't find another bird, so there's going to be only fish for today. Oh, a. Noah kept looking at the sky, though. She must have really wanted to try out the bird. Ah! Sue cried out in the distance that moment. What's wrong? Rinko Senpai was the first to act. She had already moved next to Sue by the time I had turned my head towards her. She's really fast when it comes to problems. Noah! I told you to keep an eye on the fish! Next to Sue was smoking cum from the fish skewered... I had a stroke, guys. <laughs> Next to Sue was smoke coming from the skewered fish. They were burnt badly. Ah, uh, hey! Don't take your eyes off the ingredients. We are cooking... We are taking the life away from the fishies, so concentrate on cooking. Sar... E. See, Noah, we mustn't forget the lives of the animals or plants that we eat. We live because they sacrifice themselves. Yes, Noah picked up the burnt fish while saying that. Thank you for the... meat... eel. She ate it without hesitation. I could hear the hard crunching sound, but Noah didn't move a muscle on her face. Bitter. Of course, but... Still, we are at nature's mercy. If we don't think it enough, we'll get punished for it for sure. I thought about Sue's words, picked up another burnt fish. Hold up! Are you going to straight up eat that? It's bitter! I think sometimes we should cherish what is given to us, and give our gratitude. You've gone too far, you guys. Are you going to follow everything another person says? Wait! Ugh. She took away the burnt fish in Noah's hand, my hands. She also picked up the last burnt fish. She put a Chinese wok on the campfire and put the wild greens she washed earlier. She then cut off the burnt part of the fish with her kitchen knife. And stir-fried it after adding some seasoning and water. As the water evaporated, the mouth-watering smell started to spread out. It's common sense to give gratitude to all the ingredients, but eating something that's not delicious is also blasphemy against the food. Eating an ingredient with excellent taste, that's called cooking. Don't forget. Oh! Sue kept shaking the wok, stirring the fish within her scoop. At the last moment, she added a little flour to the food, thus completing a very tasty wild green braised fish. Oh! Looks good. That burnt fish changed in an instant. Cool, you've got talent in this. Of course, as I said, cooking the ingredients in the right way is a way to thank the food. Turning it into a disgusting thing is just nothing. What she said is true. Haven't reached that level yet. And struck down an endangered bird with a branch. Delicious. Tasty. Like Tokiko's food. Yes, I won't lose to anyone when it comes to cooking in the wilderness. That's what you were proud about? She seemed confident, just like she was every time. Can't follow her respect for the food, but I won't lose the cooking skills. I accept your challenge, but you don't have the ingredients yet, it seems. Yukikaze! It, yes! Bring the meat, quickly! I don't want to lose. What kind of challenge is this? Probably cooking. I guess a cooking showdown is peaceful and okay. Into the woods again? But there are so many insects! As Yukikaze ran back into the woods, Shikanosuke, Noah, and I started to eat the cooked fish. Oh, that was quick. Go! 
There we go. Okay, cool. Where are you? Oh. Why are they attacking those crates? Genuinely curious. I don't know, it was the section four. Enemy inbound from 9 o'clock. Requesting Miss Gwen's cover fire as planned. Roger that. Target locked. Fire. After five seconds, a giant truck that was heading towards Fuma's camping site suddenly went out of control. It was the tire. The heavy tires got flat because of the sniping from above. The truck glided through the road and stopped in the middle of it, blocking the way. The other cars that were falling through stopped as well, and with a few bullets, nearly 30 of them were rendered unmobile. Miss Shizuka, please use your bug arts to draw the people out. Okay. After stopping the cars, it was time to make the terrorists come out. Rather than gas, which is normally used in this situation, Shizuka ordered tiny bugs to infiltrate the cars. Those tiny bugs, empowered by bug arts, were strong enough to kill a man. The terrorists quickly ran out of their vehicles because they couldn't handle it. Miss Gwen, Miss Aya, take care of the terrorists outside. Roger that. You can count on me. Gwendolyn's air support and Aya's water art, Aka Regia, rained from above and the terrorists outside were suppressed immediately. The other terrorists who were still staying inside their vehicles were soon neutralized by the bugs. What about me? Um, secure the perimeter, please. You can do that too, you know. Only Kabuko, who didn't participate in the attack mission, was dissatisfied, but other than that, everything went well. Anyways, even terrorists are vulnerable to surprise attacks. They were aiming for the captain of the task force only, so they were ready to go on full assault, but not defense, it seems. They never knew what was coming for them and wasn't prepared. I guess getting yourself ready for everything is important. Excuse me, during your pleasant talk, we have confirmed enemy reinforcements. We have red high temperature signatures on the heavy combat vehicle. Miss Mizuha, please check the luggage compartment of the truck. Okay. In the meantime, please stop their reinforcements. I'm sharing the expected route of the enemy and their status, so be advised. Thank you. Miss Shizuka, can you pull the terrorists out of their cars using your bug arts again? Uh-huh, got it. Aya and Shizuka ran through the woods and Gwendolyn raced like the wind. Oh, that's the spot where I put a lot of traps. Kaoruku ran towards the battlefield with a big smile on her face. Never. Oh, <laughs> Karuku was like, bro, that's it's my time to shine. I put so much traps in that specific area of the forest. That's funny. Boop. Death from above. I use my supporter skill. Get wrecked. Boink. We got another terrorist assault? What skin color is it? Ah, uh, okay, it's camo. Okay, cool. Bro, quick and easy. Quick and easy. Okay. What is this? I don't even know what section this is. Is this section 5? Oh, is this Susan Rinko Senpai's carry? Sue seems to have made vegetable curry, and Rinko Senpai used, uh, what does this mean? Boar! Yukikaze caught it for me. I chased it around a lot. Y you go, girl. Sue passed some water to Yukikaze, who was looking terribly tired. It looks good. Yep, it smells so good. Whoa! Sakura's voice suddenly came from the back. Sakura! I haven't seen you in a while. Where have you been? Uh, you missed, like, four, like, a suit. You missed another task force protecting Fuma's task force, essentially. I think this is a, a, the end of the story? I don't know. Um, well, the curry looks super good. I'm already so hungry. Yeah, no, they're cute. I like Mizuha. So, in the other task force, there's a character called Mizuha. She's got some big badonkers, but she's basically the Fuma of that task force. It's really cool. You were watching Ruby? Oh, okay. You, uh, you're watching Volume 8 right now, right? 
but Sakura was empty-handed. What about your ingredients? Ah, well, the woods was so comfortable I slept. You are such a Sakura. Sakura. Yeah, I'm Sakura, all right. I don't think they're complimenting her. Fuma inferior? Yeah, because Mizuwa's pretty hot, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so you're just- oh, you're finishing up Volume 7 right now, Rit? Sakura sat next to Shikanosuke and took some curry made by Riko-senpai. She didn't seem to feel guilty at all. Meat. Meat. It's boar meat. All prepped. Oh, such effort! I want to eat Sue's curry first. This forest had a lot of wild greens with nutrients. Mine's a vegetable curry with all the ingredients. I helped, too. Good job, everyone. Let's eat together. Everyone sat around the campfire while each holding their curry. Thank you for the food. It's been a long time since the task force first came out. Yes, it has been. We were told that the task force handles international issues, too. So I thought we would go around the world more. Like traveling abroad? Huh. And you have become softer, comparing to when we first met. Me? Definitely. Sue was very sensitive at that time. Like, everyone around me as an enemy. I'm the number one student of Igawa Asagi. I don't remember doing so. Hmm. Sue nudged me to approve, but I said nothing because I agreed to Sakura. Then she threw a rock at me for saying nothing. It hurt. Well, I disagree with handling international problems. Hmm? It's like... Other countries have their own pride, so asking a foreigner for help means a lot to them. So, they don't want to ask Japanese time minutes for help, but instead solve their problems on their own? Yeah, that's world politics. Yes, and we already use the time minutes of demons that walk among us, but to others, we are a strange bunch. Normal people see us as time minutes, not humans. They also have pride in solving human matters as humans, I suppose. Right, at some point they discriminate us but they ask for help when they're really in trouble, so that's unfair. We can't go sightseeing and things like that. Still, I like helping them. I finished Sue's vegetable curry and put Rinko Senpai's boar curry on my plate. I helped Noah with her curry, too. No matter how it seems, our missions help civilians be safe. I'm okay with that. Whoa, some cool words, Fuma. All boasting off. Stupid. I saw that one coming. I really did. Why did I say those words? What do you mean? Why, you just, why can't you, why did you like, you're kidding and then you take it back, right? What are you doing? I feel a little embarrassed. Are you okay? Want some meat? I was trying to hide my expressions, but Noah shared some of her meat because I went stiff from embarrassment. I snapped out of it because I felt happy Noah was being kind. It's not new that Fuma always says something cool and become all embarrassed. Don't say it like it's an everyday thing, will you? I think it's actually fine that at least one time it is thinking like that. Only one, huh? That's sad. I was draw I was dropping my shoulders and sniffing, but everyone around me was laughing. Heh. <laughs> yeah, sure, go ahead and laugh. Laughing is good for relaxing your mind and reducing your stress, so laugh at me. That seems a bit too much. Never mind, my job is to entertain you guys by acting like I'm cool anyway. Looks like we flipped the wrong switch. What a weirdo. It's a holiday. He's been holding it in for a long time. My god. Even after that, we talked for a long time, reminiscing about the old times. Enemy forces neutralized. Ugh, I'm tired. I know we are a safe distance from our escortee, but please be quiet. Aya reports to Mizuha, Karuko is tired and Shizuka is scolding Karuko. Escorting someone all day long is a big deal. Is there going to be extra pay or something for this? I... I don't think so. I know, they're cute. Come on now, just because we've dealt with the enemies that we could make out doesn't mean the mission is over. Don't let your guard down. She said, but terrorists already damaged their gear. The three of them were also very tired. But there was one thing. Just confirmed additional enemies. More of them. <laughs> Ugh, get up, guys. Shizuka bongs Kabuko on the head as she laughs in disbelief and from fatigue. Wah, I'm joking. Let's go get rid of them all. They've begun to advance a few of their large machines. Mizuha, can you confirm? Large machines? In a mountain? It's gonna be noisy. That's it? <laughs> this isn't a matter of strong and weak. It means that Captain Fuma can hear them if a fight breaks out. That's right. We need to escort them without being caught. We are at our limits, and fighting a large machine will be difficult. Mizuha, contact Captain Fuma and see if you can ask for support. Eee! Then we won't be able to accomplish the mission! 
It's better than dying. She says, and then checks with Lisa about if there have been any changes to the mission. This is Igawa Sagi. We've heard you. Huh? Sum it up, I want you guys to do your best. Because the task force is overly dependent on Fuma and its members, I don't think it should be like this. Do you know what this means? I, uh, an organization must not rely on the especially elite. What do you think would happen if those elites were absent? To change this, you all should work together as one and be able to fill in their spots. If possible, I would like you to come out of your comfort zone through this mission. If that is really not possible, tell me. One more thing, I do believe you guys can do it, which is why I chose everyone here. Just keep that in mind. Can we commence with the mission? Shizuka, Aya, and Kaluko didn't reply. They just breathed deeply multiple times. After being declared as inexperienced by the living legend, the almighty Igawa Asagi, and then saying that she needs us, they wouldn't dare say no to that, whether that be a good way or a bad way. We'll do it. First, we buy some time. In that time, these what check up on their forces, please. Roger that. I'll do all I can. You heard? The almighty Tarman says we are inexperienced, so she wants us to break out of our shells. Y yeah I was doing the best that I think I could. Still, saying that the higher-ups don't like that and that I did my best is just self-satisfaction. I want to be acknowledged for real. Psh! It's not like we can say, nah, I can't do it anymore, and run away. We'll do our best to the very last moment. We're friends, right? Y yeah. I also want to be acknowledged. Let's do this together. Three of us together, we can do it. The three of them then determined to do their best. Also, I'll also do my best as well. So, can you guys count me in as your team? Ah. You guys are mean. S sorry but why? Because Gwen, you were silent? Sorry for being so low profile. I'll get you an ice cream from Inagea. So, can you just please just get over with it this time? Five. Three. I like the sound of five. Fine then. Five, three, six, whatever it is. You'll get it. Let's get through this together. Rit, no, don't say that. I mean... They can't really say that. You can say that. There we go. Boom. Identify the advancing enemy units. Oh yeah? That took some time. It's the Tempest. Watch out for nearby bombing. Huh? A Tempest? Those terrorists must be thinking of blowing this place to bits? Wah! I see them! Please, watch my back. I will hold them down with my speed. No, we advance. Okay, I don't think it can bombard itself at such a close range. You know how to fight colossal enemies? Alright, let's do this. Gwen, cover me. Copy that. Let's all go! Oh, this is a new one. Tempest 2.0. Oh, okay. <laughs> nope. Put me in the same sitch, and if I live long enough, I'll be complaining. Oh, I bet any sane, normal human being would rip. I'd be right there with you. I knew it was difficult to fight head on. Run if you have time to chat. I am! Yet she was running in the opposite direction Puma and the others are going to. Continue like this, and we'll be exhausted in no time. We've been fighting battle after battle. So we go this way? Yup! Huh. It was that moment. The tempest that was chasing the three of us suddenly staggered. It was Kaoruko's trap, and she set up earlier. It's primitive, however. A trap that blends it with the natural surroundings is best against a surveillance camera on a machine. Especially in the woods at nighttime. Alright, Aya-chan. Aqua Regia. Oh, okay. Wait, is this your limit? Fine, let's run for now. Yeah, Aya, we'll help you, so come on! I'm sorry. The terrorists advanced four tempests. Three of them were destroyed with Gwendolyn's heavy weapon and Aqua Regia, but there was one more left. It's not a Tempest. He said that's a Tempest! This isn't the time to complain about that. We gotta destroy that Tempest 2.0 however we can. Hiding in the shadows of the forest, the three of them took deep breaths to recover their strength. The Tempest 2.0 more armor plating than the original Tempest. With an increased load capacity, it can be equipped with more weaponry. It can also move with the same mobility as the original Tempest. A bit overpowering for a Terrace to have. You talk like this isn't any of your business? No, I'm not. Figuring out the situation is directly linked to survival. Yeah, so what does the situation feel like now? What's your chance of survival? A hundred percent. No problem there. The attacks don't seem effective. Miss Mizuha, you're bad at lying, right? Hoo hoo hoo. Well, office work is my specialty. Is being an operator a part of office work? 
While that was going through her mind, some pieces of information came to the comms device. It was the Tempest 2.0 specifications and an escape route. Run as fast as you can to the designated coordinates. You for real? Of course. On that order, the Tempest 2.0 that crawled out of Kaguko's trap began to advance again. Listening to the machine from afar, the three of them leapt from their hiding spot and began running. Water art is also my specialty, so I'm not that athletic. That's why I'm in charge of paperwork. Do you really think this is the right time to tell me this? There was an explosion right behind her as she yelled. It was the Tempest 2.0's weapon that was splitting fires that created the explosion. A single sheet of paper, a moment of a millisecond, a layer of skin at such a close range, space vanished. That's why I thought of using this ability, using water art for office work. So I realized. What? She asked politely, all the while being chased. There is no room to chill, but it's a situation where if one does not collect their thought, it feels like the sound of death's footsteps will be heard. If you mix your water art with the portable unit, you can obtain the necessary information in real time. Originally, it's as effective against beings like demons or curses, but if you go so far as to bring water to the scene like this, you can also provide support. Mizuwa's ability, Purifying Gigikiri, is classified as the ultimate and worst ability that neutralizes everything called sorcery using particles. It is that much poor in terms of efficiency, in instances it can be used are limited. Even if it were to be a curse of death, it's an ability that can be destroyed if it is composed of particles. If the opponent is a machine like now, it's a weak ability, but if Mizuha is aware of the water, it will work regardless of it being far away. Hang in there, just a little longer. The water being transported into the portal bowl unit became a protective barrier for the three of them against the artillery of the Tempest 2.0. What would have made them into minced meat was blocked entirely. The three who believed in their teammate ran at full speed to the designated coordinates, following their calm teammate's words. Smash next, right? They were out of the forest and at an open area. After confirming the presence of her friends, she excludes them, although her field of view is bad and her aim is not fixed. The only ones moving in the forest are the enemies, meaning the only thing left to do is to pull the trigger. She makes a firearm that's small to medium size when usually she creates flight units. Garuda Vapor Trail, the ability to construct a mechanical structure, the ability that made me think Gwendolyn Demdike was an angel. Thus, a weapon that's unfit for flying, unfit for the image of an angel, but bulky with the sole purpose of destruction was made. Fire. With that, she pulls the trigger and a flash of light disintegrates half of the Tempest 2.0. The ground shakes and the machine stumbles as if an earthquake had hit. A moment later, a thunderous roar erupts. The dying screech of the Tempest 2.0 is muted by it. Despite being exhausted, the three timelines were doing their best to escape, but half of the weapons that were already heavily damaged were destroyed in a single strike. With the loss of a significant portion of the crucial parts, the Tempest 2.0 was rendered completely silent, unable to fight against its most formidable enemy. Confirmed destruction of target. I knew you guys would escort me safely since you guys are my friends, said Gwendolyn as she dismantled the constant heat producing weapon like it was nothing, and smile like an angel. Angel. <laughs> angel. Good work, everyone. I'm exhausted. Oh my god, I want to shower right now. I want to eat before anything. I'm hungry. Because of their fatigue, they couldn't think straight and could only think about food. They were in a container. It will be relaxing if they were only in it. There were chairs, no swaying. I've always been in the air, so it was fun doing the mission with you guys. Thank you very much. That's okay. We're friends. Yeah, we're friends. So no Ned to thank us. Just say you're looking forward to doing it again, or... Yeah. I see. Alright. Looking forward to working with you again. Aya, Shizuka, and Kaluko. And... We've arrived at our destination. Leave the report to headquarters to me. Enjoy your vacation. Huh? She dropped them from the air again. Phew! I had too much. Three plates of curry is impressive. Just then, a large container falls from the sky. Rinko, Su, and Yukikaze assume their battle sense as soon as they hear the sound. No one should kind of suke get close to me, and Sakura is sipping her cup of coffee, enjoying her moment. Gwen! I told you not to drop it! Uh... Um... A few seconds later, the container hatch opens, and the familiar faces pop out. They're all members of the task force. Shizuka, Aya, and Kaluko too? What's all this? What happened? You guys alright? Hoo-hoo. <laughs> this doesn't surprise us at all. We're Taimonins. Which, which twink you talking about, Rit? No one said that, but are you alright? You guys are hurt. Yukikaze, bring the first aid kit. Yep. Yukikaze runs to the tent and comes up with the first aid kit. Rinko remains wary of her surroundings with the Shikano Suke. The little boy? Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. What's going on? Well, the mission... Mission? If it was around here, we would have gotten a call too. That's... 
As Shizuka hesitates to talk about the mission, Sakura interrupts and shoves three plates of curry at them. Aren't you guys hungry? Oh, Miss Sakura! You guys did well. Now, why don't you guys eat the curry? Okay. Yay! Curry! They say and shove the curry down their throat. We did well without the captain. This vegetarian curry is great. Munch munch. Are they alright? I then give them some water and dress their wounds while they continue eating. I thought there would be enough curry left for tomorrow, but three of them ate the whole pot. They tell us about the mission while eating and then fall asleep. What is going on? Seriously. You guys must have had a hard time too. Tell me about it. Looks like they safely regrouped with Fuma. Yeah, did the information arrive safely? Yes, no problem on that, Miss Gwen. Mission accomplished. Hey, Zach. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. How about you join the camp once you go back right away? No, I can only stay hovering above. I'll only get in other people's way. Also, I have plans with my family. I see. Good work today. Please, send my regards to your family. Thank you. Have a good day, Miss Mizuha. After that, she disconnected her comms. Mizuha slowly sighed and took out her earpiece. Family. How will she change after knowing her bonds with her teammates? Mizuha sympathized with Gwen. Because Gwen's family was in the heavens. Oh, right. Progress report. Mizuha mumbled and headed to Asagi, who would be worried about this incident today. I'm... Okay. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm getting this. Oh, wait. No, no. Ah! Don't look at my stuff. I have money in my Steam account. Yay! See that, Fuma? That's how it's done. Yeah, right? Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Uh, if you guys didn't hear earlier in the stream, uh, it turns out there was a nail in my tire. It wasn't bad enough to pop the tire, but it still was enough to make the tire lose air quicker than usual. So I had to put my spare on, and discount tires I don't think is open on Sundays. Because it's Sunday. Let me check. So hopefully I can get my tire fixed tomorrow by discount tires for free. Um, if I can't though, it's open on Sunday. Well, it's too late, it's already like 8. I could have sworn it wasn't... Let me see... No, I, it is closed on Sunday. Yeah. I just checked. Yeah, it's open from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. from Monday to Friday, and open Saturday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Oh. And it's closed on Sundays. Just looked it up on Google. I should be good tomorrow. Yeah, I'm gonna have to- I have to take the highway to work. And my dad's like, you should take six- you should drive 65 miles per hour. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I reached out to some friends to help me with that, because, um, I will say... Money be tight for me right now, <laughs> unfortunately. So, and also I I have Anime Fest coming up next week, so I have to deal with that. All right. Oh, we did it. We're done. We finished the event. All right. But yeah, anything new with you, Zach? How have you been? Did you go to uh, the card shop today? Uh, I did. I am a volunteer, so volunteers get a free hotel room, but of course you have to share it with people. Uh, I didn't get the lyrical cases yet. I was going to start buying the lyrical cases when I get paid on the 31st. I will be driving there, yes. Oh, you did not? You had some water come into your apartment, had to fix sound. Oh, I'm sorry to see that, Zach. Is it completely fixed now? Sounds good? Yeah. No, it is not. Um, Anime Fest is being held at the Lowe's Live in Arlington, Texas. So. Yeah, it's fine. That's good. You're learning. Rit, oh my gosh. I know you're trying to dox me. What are you doing? What is with you? What is with you trying to find me? Okay. Alright, alright. Okay, let's go ahead and do... Because, oh, guys, I gotta show you how insane I am for Lapis. You won't dox me? Thank you. This is personal? What do you mean? You wanna find me yourself? Hmm, interesting, Rit. I'll keep that in mind. Affinity! Give a gift. 
Please choose an item. I'm auto selecting. Give. I give everything to Lapis. Zach, no, don't do this. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Why would you do this to me, Zach? I trusted you. Also, by the way, um, fun fact, I learned this the other day. If you max out all of the skills here, they're like the max skill is level 25, then you unlock stats training, and basically you choose hit points, attack, defense, or critical, and you increase it with your skill points. So I will increase them after I spam this. I will be doing normal because I know Lapis is good for normal difficulty missions. Okay, cool, Rit. Not interested. <laughs> no offense. I bet you are very beautiful, but not right. I'm not interested. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rit. Ah! Hey, listen. You lose 100% of the shots you don't take, so mad respect for me to you, Rit. <laughs> I doubt it. I think you are very beautiful. I bet you are beautiful. Hush. You have a big heart. Just missing Keku? What is Keku? Oh, you're messing with me. Oh, you haven't transitioned physically? Oh. So what what is the I forget. My friend told me the correct term because like it's like you your original pronoun was was what was your, that that poop's expensive? I bet it is. It's laugh face. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. I'm not going to call you a slur. You don't deserve that, Rit. Okay, so your original, uh... What, what? My friend said that it's like, it's the correct way. It's the correct way to ask a uh, trans person a polite way of saying what their original gender was. I'm not trying to be rude, Rit. I, I genuinely am not. I'm very uneducated about LGBTQIA+. So... Just like this is my f what? It would be funny. Be blunt about it. Uh, so you were originally a he, but you were a transitioning to a she. Am I understanding that right, Rit? Feel free to s tell me wrong, or if you don't want to talk about, it, I understand. I was just curious. I'm sorry if it if it makes you feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. Thanks for explaining that to me. I appreciate it because um, one of my uh, one of my best friends, Green. She's transitioning right now, like, uh, she's already on, uh, the, what is it, hormonal treatment, uh, to transition to a female, and I caught up with, uh, Green, um, last week, and I could tell that she, she's more feminine now. I believe so you don't care? Okay, well, if you're saying that, I'll take you up on that, but thanks for bearing with me, Rit. I think you're an amazing person, I really do. Thanks for always supporting me on my streams, I really appreciate you. Oh. Insert, schedule say my friend, insert. Aww. Thank you, Rit. But also, Zach, thank you for explaining it's laugh face, that's what the K-E-K-W means. The whole outing others is slightly... Oh, I bet. I just want to ask in a very polite and respectful manner. That's all I want. Because like I said, like I've said before in some of my streams, it's like... Uh, as long as it doesn't bother me and how I live my life, I'm not going to care too much. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, the bullets. Called me your F slur viewer in person. Oh, the F word. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. I wouldn't do that to you. I'm too nice for that. Think it would be hilarious? Okay. 
Well, I'm glad you would think it's hilarious. I would be- I would feel so bad. I honestly would feel so bad. Oh, shoot. Yo. Oh, I wasted my supporter skill. Oops. <laughs> Boink. Ow. Let's heal up completely. This may be the fifth. Yeah, this is the last. This is the section five of normal. Okay. Oh, shoot. guys. It ended. I wonder if I can do hard. Alright. Let's try hard. I want to see if I can do hard. If I can't, then, uh... Hoo -hoo -hoo. You might also like hard? Oh, I bet you do. Red, oh my goodness. You, what am I gonna do? Ow! That hurt, you're rude. Achieve 30 combos. Okay. I was just wondering what the triple star, uh, how to get the all three stars in this in section one. Good thing. Oh, I thought it was dead. I guess not. Okay.
Okay, special. Eh. Oh, thank goodness. There we go. Are they slow? So far I thought the attacks were pretty fast, in my personal opinion. But if you consider that slow, then dang, I didn't know. Is it really slow? It feels slow? Ah, that's fair, that's fair. Uh, so let's... I'm tempted. Could I do this? For Shiranui in my experience? Oh, well, okay, that's fair. It is Shir Shiranui is a Naginata user? A Naginata user? I didn't know that. Oh wow, that was nice. Did I do it? I did! Oh, am I actually going to be able to finish this event? Like, completely beat this event on hard? Like, beat all sections, all five sections on hard with three star rankings? Will I get it? Is it possible? We'll see, we'll see. So far, I'm doing okay. No, got no faith. Dang, Rit, I see how it be. I see how it is. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot! Oh, I got... I got knocked! Oh shoot! Ow! Hard to play time after getting Zenless? Bruh, I totally understand you, Rit. The quality difference? Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. The quality difference is so much different. I finished Chapter 2, I think. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. That's a lot, that's a lot, that's a lot. Hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Aya, aya, aya. Yup. I needed the support. Ow! Oh, shoot. I don't want to use my... I do not want to use my special art. I don't want to use my special art on these guys. I want to save it for the next one. Okay. Get close, and then... BAM! Oh, 
Oh wow, that was quick. I did it. Oh wait, I don't think I did it. Did I? Huh? Oh, that was section three? Oh, I didn't achieve the 30 combos. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm gonna do this. Shoop! Because I, I grinded. I grinded for these. If I didn't get it the first time, I don't think I could for the... If I didn't get the 300 combos thing, I don't think I can get it for section 4 and section 5, so... Oh, nice. I am now rank 54. That's wild. Let's see... Oh, of course. And then... Oh, I need 216. Okay. Store. Alright, cool. I have like 806 of those. I think I'll be good. Oh! You're gonna bust. What are you gonna bust? You're kidding? Oh, uh, so you're not gonna bust in it? Ah, uh, totally understandable. Wait, hold on. There we go. Yep. Okay. Oh, you already you already did today? Ah, oh, that's fair. Get an early start, you know. Okay, I'm trying to just grind these out. I think I'll do this like three, four times, and I'll see if I can get them to gotcha. Then store. Okay. You're doing uh maybe tomorrow. You're doing the event. What event? Oh shoot, I'm commander, commander rank 55. Uh, which event are you talking about? Is it the bamboo one? The vacation event? Oh shoot, for action time in him? I wish you the luck, Rit. You didn't pay to me win like I did, so I wish you the best of luck. Wait, what? Huh? No, you're, you're not. I mean, if you do the easy one, you're not. But if you did normal and hard, I'm assuming it's gonna be rough for you. Max! Oh, Jesus! You could max it out to 66? Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> nah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do that. I do it. Whoa! One more time, guys. One more time. Hey, yo! Awesome, okay. Back. Back. Gotcha. Stop gotcha after chain a rare reward. Off. Oh. Off. I'm gonna do the gotcha 180 times. Um, oh! Oh, a new supporter is... Yeah, it is. I mean, easy is really easy, then normal is hard, then hard is just very brutal. <coughs> oh, sweet. Goodness, I gotta lock her in. Alright. Opening gotcha, guys.
And I got everything. Cool. <laughs> you know what? I'm too much of a quitter. Let's go ahead and do this. Off to level two. One section down. All right. Good luck, Brit. Good luck. All right. Let's see if I can... the only thing I'm missing is getting the thirty combo. Oh, don't do this to me, bro. Come on, that's so hard. Okay, all right. I already got the other two. I need to try and get the combo one. Ow! 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 What the heck? Can you like not? What the heck? Can you like not? I literally, I just need to get combo 30. If you guys could stop being absolute buttholes. Alright, come on. Wait, hold on. One, two. No, 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 you're not preventing me. Yes, okay. Alright, cool. Alright, we got the combo 30, guys. We did it, we did it. Back to game. Now I have to finish this. Ow, ow, ow. Of course, of course. Oh, you're skipping the story? I don't care about the visual novel? Oh, that's fair. Halfway there. Ow. 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 Why did you have to stun me? Oh. Death be onto you. You missed, fool. It's too long? Oh, yeah, no, I agree with it. It's too long. But hey, it wouldn't be a good story if it wasn't that long. <laughs> Honestly, I thought it'd be longer, not gonna lie. Alright. Okay, so now we have section four. Okay, let's go back. What is section oh I can't do section five unless I do section four. Major? Let's go. What do you mean major? What do you mean by major? I didn't get the contest. I apologize. Oh, best girl. Oh Are you talking Mizu are you talking about Mizuha? Your support is major? Oh, her! Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, because, uh, it was either you or Goku that explained to me, because I was doing the, what was it, the event, where it's like, you have to have specific type of supporter, and, um, Goku was like, yo, you have the wrong supporter, that one makes it harder for you to play the game. You should totally switch to a different supporter, and so I took his advice, or whoever gave me the advice, and managed to do the event almost flawlessly, so... Okay. I literally just need a 25 combo. Yeah. Ah, I did it. Right? Yes! 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 Ow. 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 Boink. No! Too many guns. Thank you. I needed my supporter to come in and clutch. Boom! Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Okay, cool, cool. Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Here? Thank goodness. Terrorist assault. Meet my special. Oh. Oh 
Oh shoot. All right. No. I need it. I need this. That. There we go. I was like, no, my health is below 50%. No. It's a good thing I have a... What was it? What was that move? What is that move? Okay, hold on. Did I do it? I did. Okay. Let's do it. Get less than... Oh, shoot. This is hard. This is get less than 30 hits. Uh, I can't do that. No, that's what I'm trying to do is get Lapis' affinity higher. Oh, I already watched the Lapis visual novel. I don't know if you were there for that. I already unlocked the Lapis' story. There is no way I can get this. I... I'm not even kidding. I I feel like I already had, got hit a lot. I'm still good. Oh shoot, wait, 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 wait. Ah! I literally don't know. Come on. When it says like less than... Like... There's no way. You know what? If I can survive the less than 30 hit, I'll be fine. Okay, no. I can't. Retreat. Retreat. Nah, I'm done. I'm <laughs> I need to give up. When I got like, oh we didn't make it, I was like, yeah, no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna attempt that. Nah, I couldn't do it. I give up. I give up. Sometimes you literally legit need to know when to give up, and I am not killing myself over that, guys. Besides, there's like new Genshin stuff I want to do. One per account. Achievement. What did I get? Nice. Nice. Nah, I am, because I'm trying to do, uh, get all three stars, that's what I was- I can beat it, but, like, I want to get all three stars, and I don't feel comfortable doing that if I'm not going to get three stars. And besides, I already emptied out the gotcha for the event. Achieve- wait. Achieve surprise mission, please check the mailbox? What is it? Event mission? Okay. That was interesting. Receive. Yay. Interesting. Dang, yeah. Sad. True Demon Island Adventure. By the way, when I get the money, when I get the money, I am definitely... Hold on, let me see. When I get the money... I am getting her. 
died of blind faith. You know I'd be blind I would be I'd be following her like this, just saying. Just saying. I'd be blindly following her to the end of time. Can't believe you already are. Anna Rose, yeah, I, I'm not getting her yet. I'm not getting her just yet. Okay, hold on. There's another thing. Okay. There's like a surprise mission thing here. Surprise campaign. Okay. Cool. I have to continuously switch from campaign to mailbox. Okay, I guess we'll do that. Okay, that should be it. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, and everything in this game is pricey. That's how they get, that's how they keep making the game. I have so much points. All level twenty-two. Sure. My defense is twenty-two. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know how. What is the max for uh for this? What is the max for this? For stats? I'm gonna look this up. Action. Uh. Taimanen. Uh. Max. Stat. Level. Characters level increased. Uh. Character statistics. Let's see. Find out. I'm trying, but they don't talk about like status. I wonder. After reaching the base maximum level cap at 75, a timer can be awakened even further, increasing their advantages into a potential 12 stars. Unlocking an exclusive skill and granting the option to upgrade awakened skills. Let me see, what is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. Eighty-five to eighty-seven. Oh my gosh. Awaken skills, list of awaken skills. They don't talk about stats. I guess I'll figure out soon. Because it doesn't even bring it up. It talks about everything other than the stat. Wait, hold on. I would like to know, is it maxed actually? No, it doesn't keep going. Huh. CP is 50,000. I've put in so much resources for Lapis, oh my goodness. And I will continue to do so. Uh, Zenla Zone Zero, gotcha luck. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, I pulled Ellen, so I'm good. I just need one Ellen. I'm not pulling for any more, because I'm pretty sure there's going to be some more um, banners for like the characters from Hands. I'm like, the girl with the demon eye that can slice through a massive ethereal? Yes. Yeah, thank you. I got all the, I got all the characters you can get with uh, the current banner for Zenla Zone Zero. I am waiting for the next banner, so I can use up uh, all of my polychromes. <laughs> so, without further ado, I think it's about time we switch to a different game. It's time to switch to Genshin. I'm pretty sure there's something going on for Genshin Impact today. So I'm going to switch to Genshin. 
you want to do 100 pulls even though I get what I want? So the thing is, I looked at the whole 100 search signal thing, so technically Hoyoverse didn't lie about that, but to get the 100 search signals, you have to do a bunch of in-game things, like missions and events, um, and so far, I remember reading the article, and this person, after playing through Zenlazum Zero with its current updates, got about like 70 search signals, and then they were like, I, we don't know where the other 30 is from, and it's like, what the heck? Also, the dub agent look like butt beads? I mean, that's fair. <laughs> and they do. I didn't think about that. I... And also, I agree with you, I do want the 100 pulls even though I don't get what I want to get, because I end up getting characters that I never knew about, and I think are cool. Yeah, I know, right? I agree. Like, we support it ahead of time. I mean, yeah, but gotcha game companies need to make their money somehow, right? 